Hey guys, Andrew McFarland here from startajuicebar.com. Hope you guys are happy, hope you're healthy, excited to launch your business or grow your existing business. Today we are talking about, before you sign your lease, things that you must have done. Because I see people make this mistake all the time. They think step one, sign the lease. That's wrong. We're gonna dive into that and so much more. But before we do, if you're new to the channel and you don't know who I am, you don't know what we do, over the last decade, myself and our company has had the pleasure of supporting hundreds of entrepreneurs all over the world, launch and scale successful juice concepts, smoothie concepts, juice trucks, smoothie businesses, acai bowl businesses, and more. All the information on this channel is coming from this wealth of experience. Early invitation, press the like button, hit the notification bell, that way you get alerted when we release new videos just like this, you don't wanna miss it. And now we are going to dive in. So you're in a situation, and I was, I can't tell you how many times this comes up, probably five, 10 times a week, I talk to someone, they say, okay, I'm ready to start my business. Step one, look for a location. And that is not step one. And I understand that makes sense because it seems like that once you have the location, now we're gonna find the equipment, now we're gonna do the construction, all these things. And if you've signed a lease, I'm sorry that you've done that before doing these other things that I'm gonna mention, but it's still not the worst thing in the world. It could cost you some money with rent and other things because basically the things that you definitely wanna make sure you have completed before you sign your lease are number one, okay? Your menu, at least the menu concept. If you can have more of your menu done, the better. Why? Because your menu is going to dictate the equipment that you need. Not just the kind of equipment, but how much. Because if your menu's not completed, how do you know what ratio of freezers to refrigerators that you need? Dry storage. You don't know a lot of things because your menu's not completed. So number one, menu. Second thing, branding. Why is branding important? And I don't just mean your logo because that's not your brand. And I'm not gonna get too deep into that and get other videos on the channel about branding, also in our course. But the reason branding is important to have done prior to signing your lease is because your brand is going to dictate your company values. Your company values are gonna dictate your customer experience, okay? How much retail space do you have? What kind of experience do you want your customers to have in terms of maybe community space? Do you wanna have community tables? Because that's very important to you. If you don't know what your brand is, it's very hard to get into designing a physical space, okay? That's the second thing. The third thing is, making sure you've at least done preliminary research and started to have conversations with architects and contractors because these things are gonna have to get done after you sign your lease if you didn't do it before. And what does that mean? It means that you're wasting time in either burning up your free rent, hopefully you got some, or you're paying rent, even worse. Both situations aren't good because it's costing you money, but if you haven't, been prepared and either hired your architect or been very, very close to it by the moment you sign your lease, you wanna make sure you do this research ahead of time. This is why all these things are important to be prepared prior to the signing of your location, okay? Same thing too, another thing that should seem obvious, but it's not funding for your business. You either need to have at least 75% of the funding or 100% of the funding that you need. I've seen people get into situations, they sign a lease and then they go and start raising capital they have trouble raising capital, they start burning through the money that they already have, now they have to raise more money, it gets even more difficult. You don't wanna do that, okay? Make sure you're prepared before you sign your lease to have these foundational elements completed so you don't run into a situation where now you, the pressure's on, and I know that it happens where people see locations and you're like, I just gotta sign the lease, I don't want someone else to get it. I understand, well this is why it's important to do these things and prepare these elements that I mentioned before quickly. So if you need support with this or any other aspect of developing the foundation and the rest of your business, reach out to me personally, andrew at startajuicebar.com. Happy to discuss how we can support you with this. Hope this has been helpful in giving you some insight on how to prepare yourself prior to signing a lease. And there's a whole process even to finding locations and signing a lease that maybe I'll get to in another video or reach out to me, we'll help you with that. But I hope this has been ha uh, helpful to you guys. Questions or comments, put in the comment box below. If you want to just tell us you like the content, that always inspires us. Last few announcements. 
Follow us on Instagram at Start a Juice Bar. We have exclusive giveaways, exclusive content there. I remember that somebody actually recently posted on our YouTube channel because we just started posting some recipes videos on the YouTube shorts. And they're like, great, we're glad you just finally started doing that. And I was like, actually, we've been doing that for over a year. We have recipe videos on our Instagram that we've been doing. So this is why I tell you guys follow us there so that you can watch these videos and so much more. And then lastly, if you like podcasts, we have a podcast on Spotify and on iTunes. It's called the Juice Bar Experts Podcast. Easy to find. Subscribe. Hit the like button. Reach out to me if you need help. Hope you guys are happy and healthy. Until next time, see you soon. Hope you guys have been enjoying the video content. If you are inspired to launch your juice business, but you're not exactly sure what steps to take, for you, we've created a free ebook. 15 steps to starting a juice business from scratch. This is gonna give you a high level overview of everything you need to do from where you are now all the way to opening your business. Now, if you wanna go even deeper, we've created an online course, the Juice Bar Master Blueprint. This is gonna go into great detail into every aspect of starting your business, everything from branding to menu development to finding the right location, the equipment that you need, and so much more all the way to launching your business. There's links for both of these in the description below. I know you're gonna find a lot of value out of them. As always, hope you guys are happy and healthy, wishing you a lot of success, and I'll see you at the next video.